Welcome back for another Bite Size Monday with PowerPoint Training Online. Today, we're going to show you how to quickly fit cells to text when you're inserting a table into PowerPoint. But before we do that, I'm going to ask you to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all the videos that we release every week. Now, let's get back into it. You can see here I've got a table on the screen and it looks like it's all fit nice and tidy. But if I were to insert a new table, which I've got here, I've got two different types of tables here. You can see one of them is got a lot of gaps, so that's why I've inserted a table like that. So if I've got a table inserts, it will insert that to the right width. And if I, I want to delete that for now. So you can see here, I've entered in information and it is looking untidy. It looks like there's big gaps. So I want to trim it down a little bit. Now, usually you got to drag a drop and then you got to find the right way. You might drag it too much, you drag it too little, but it's a bit, it can be a bit of a pain sometimes. So just, I have recently found a quicker way of doing this. And that is, is if you do hover on the line in the middle, you just double click that, it will then minimize that, that column or row to fit the largest piece of text in it. Again, if I did the same thing for age, it has done it. It has brought down to the largest size piece of text. So you can also see that I've got a table down here that looks slightly different and is squashed, a little bit squashed in areas. So what I can do here is I can just again double click and it will push this column out to fit the text. Again, same thing, I want to push, make this smaller, but I've also got location here. So again, if I just double click on that. So you can see I've also got another table down here below that's looking slightly squashed. Again, if I wanted to maximize that cell to make sure that the, set the text fit into the cell properly, I can then just double click it and then away we go. Now, one thing to bear in mind is that it does not do this for outside lines. So for instance, this last line where it says location, I need to drag that out until the text fix fits in. And then once I've done that, it's just a case of double clicking on the, in, on the middle line again to bring the column down to the right size. Really hope this was helpful for you today, guys. If it was, please hit that like button below. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That way then you get to see, you will get notifications every time when we release a new video every week. Until next time, guys, you have a good day. Goodbye.